Hey everyone, Theme Rhino from ThemeRhino.com. Today we're going to be talking about Shopify product grids. We're going to be talking about the benefits of them, how to use them, what kind of instances you would want to use them, and the different kinds of Shopify product grids. Now what you're looking at here is actually not a Shopify product grid, but it is a Shopify product carousel tab. Um, also, it has a tabbed carousel, which is a feature where people can switch through the different uh, sections or collections in your clothing store. But let's talk about what a product grid actually looks like. So let's go ahead over here and hit add section and let's talk about different product grids. So obviously something to know is that every Shopify theme is slightly different. Not every Shopify theme is created equal. You have some free themes, you have some paid themes, you have some paid themes that are better than free themes, and you got themes, that, the free themes that are better than paid themes. What I would recommend is that everybody gets a theme from a reputable source just to be available because there are some paid themes that people advertise for free and they basically say, hey, get a discount, get it for free. Meanwhile, they have backdoor access to your business, to your um, uh, livelihood they essentially are robbing you from your Shopify store and hacking you. So that's just something to be aware of. Now, back to the uh, the um, conversation of product grids. So what if a, a product grid is going to look like is something like this. Now, in this case, we have a product tabbed grid, which is one of the many different types of variations that there are when it comes to product grids. Okay, so essentially we have different tabs here. Let's go ahead and just focus on one tab. So let's remove all these different tabs that we have. And by the way, guys, if you're interested in this Shopify theme that we're using, it's from wolfofshopify.com. I'll leave my affiliate link in the description box down below along with the discount code. It is the Alpha Wolf theme. This is the theme that you're looking at. We also will show you how it looks with the regular Wolf of Shopify theme, which is uh, a little bit cheaper, um, but we'll just show you how it works. So essentially, you have a product grid, and, and the purpose of a product grid is to show customers without customers having to scroll or flip through or select any kind of collections or links, they get access to a whole load of products. And at many different times, you can add different kinds of products to your collection grid, meaning you can add, um, you know, bestsellers, you can add featured products, and you can segment between them. You could add a certain collection that you want to add. And all this has to do with the, the, the selection through the collections page. So so if you're not aware, we have what's referred to as a collections page, where if we go to here to products, we have a collections button, right? And this collections button is essentially the best way I could help you uh, think of it is the categories button, right? So I want you to think of collections as just categories. So imagine when you walk into, for example, a grocery store, like let's say Costco, for example, or Walmart, they have different aisles. Or different categories right they have the baking section they have clothing section they have fast food section in the same way collections work the exact same so you have a home page section we have in this case we are selling clothing and candy so we have candy we have clothing we have best sellers okay so back to our store and our store design let's go ahead and hit this uh, themes button online store let's hit customize so you guys can get a little bit of a view here but a product gallery, or excuse me, a product grid is like I said, it, it serves only one purpose, and that's to show consumers at large the different types of products that exist. Now, what some themes will do is they'll offer you different styles. So, for example, the Alpha Wolf, they give us different styles of how the product is presented. Notice that when I take my mouse and I hover over each product, right, we have what's referred to as the title of the product, right, and I'll just take a screenshot to just show you here. We have the title of the product, right? Let me get my marker out. We have the title of the product. We have the price of the product, and then we have the product image, okay? Now, all these together is referred to as a, as a section in the product grid, okay? But once we hover over, okay, the image, now what goes on the bottom is starting to slightly change. You can notice it, instead of pink lemonade and the price, it says add to cart and this little magnifying glass button, which represents quick view. So if I click on the quick view, it has a little pop-up and it shows what the quick view is. Now it's not showing up here. And the reason why is because we're in preview mode. But if we exit to view the actual website from an outside standpoint, we could definitely uh, form a quick view, 
right here. And so let's ha let have the page load. Let's hit the quick view button and you can see it pops up. Okay, so there are different options there, but just something to be aware of is the styles that's presented in. So some people are not comfortable with this style. They may want to change it up. And so, like I said, different themes come with different options. Not every theme is going to allow you to do this, but you have, for example, style one. And style one is a little bit different where there's an animation that comes in. Okay, it, it changes up the style of the whole entire configuration. Right. We have style number two. Okay, which by the way moves everything to the left even if we were to add title tabs here. Okay, let's go ahead and add a title tab. All right, and we'll get to the title tabs in a minute, but and then we also have style three. Okay, which moves a little bit things to the center or the midpoint a little bit with a view all products button. So you kind of get the idea. We can also make some changes to the amount of products per row. So if we want to add five products per row, we can do that, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? So we could do that here. We could also make it smaller and make three products per row, right? Give it a little bit more focus. All these different things that we can change within the theme. We can hit the view all products button and it will take us to a collections page. In this case, it took us back to the homepage because I just never set up the button link, right? But we can set it up to wherever we want it to take. Ideally, you would want them to take them to the collections page since the button says view all products, right? So just hit collections, all collections, right? Hit save or even all products, which would be even more ideal products and then selected by all products and then will be accompanied by a page that represents all the products in the store so if we go ahead and select that button view all products we're accompanied by now all the products in the store okay which we can also make settings to but this is a different kind of view typically when you have a collections page you have what's referred to as a grid view so it's very sim similar to the home page grid or the home page product grid the only difference here in in our case since it's a theme is that this is a collections uh, page okay so the page is a little bit different and speaking of different pages and different themes we have different features available to us so this is a feature where we can view everything in a horizontal landscape almost right where it's sideways as opposed to a vertical landscape here now Wolf of Shopify includes this feature in both of their themes and you want to check with your theme what kind of features are available and which one is going to be more idealistic from a conversion standpoint. Now let me just break down what I just said in a more simple way. Depending on how you present your products, you're going to profit more. There's no uh, argument about that. You really can't argue that. Some products need detailed information for each individual product. So this is the Wolf of Shopify theme original theme, which is actually cheaper than the first one, which includes also the same feature of a product carousel or excuse me, a product tabbed grid, right? Let's go ahead and just zoom out of the page a little bit so you guys can get a better view here. Notice how we have four products, right? We have um, a we have it all contained within a container. OK, whenever you see something that's not full width, it, it's represented by a container. These are going to be different words that you're going to want to be aware of in the UX UI design world. So let's go ahead here and select a collection page in this case we're taking to the home page collection and this is also that horizontal view now we can make that change okay and we have different styles that we can make that change with a simple setting here based on this theme and this is the original theme okay this is the original wolf of shopify theme that you're staring at here the other theme that you just saw was the alpha wolf theme and like i said not every theme is the same you want to be aware of that okay so here instead of collection full width we can select collection uh, uh excuse me instead of sorry not this one but this one right here instead of product list view we have product grid view right and then we could switch it back to a grid view and we can select how many products per grid we have the same settings here we have a three product uh, grid view we have a five product grid view okay and we have a four product grid view so just be aware there's different features there now back to the home page when we create a product 
grid. There are different types of product grids, like I said, depending on every theme. In this case, the original Wolf of Shopify theme offers us a tabbed product grid that we can access here. We have a title that says Shop All. We have Candy and Clothing. We can also make changes to this by selecting the different tabs and adding different tabs. Notice we have a trending section that we can now select products for. So if I want to add bestseller to it, then it will select the bestseller as the trending. And I can change what it says here. Instead of trending, I could say anything. I could label it best sellers and notice how it just changes the way it does. So you just want to be aware of that. And let's just go ahead and save our progress there. And there, clearly, we have our best sellers. And let's let it just load for a second. And when we select the best seller, this might, might be it. And like I said, the, the products that are selected here, you can just edit the collections and create collections from scratch. So now let's talk about application purposes. The first question that I want to tackle is, can a product grid be the only thing on a homepage? And the answer is absolutely depending on the store. I remember the time when I had a clothing store and we were testing different optimizations. This was the first business that I ever had. And I came to the conclusion that idealistically, the only thing that should be on the page is a product grid. And that actually boosted our conversion rates at about 3% from, from what we used to be at, which was about a 0.6% because this is when I was focused on conversion. Versions. Then what I noticed after that is including a split banner will help segment my audience because what I did was I actually started to join in two different niches. We were selling fitness clothing, one for you know uh, males, and then we had a female line all in the same website. And what I realized was including a split banner very similar to this would be better for our audience. The only difference is the images were a little bit smaller. It was probably it would end up at about this area on the website, and then the rest was all product grid okay we didn't have galleries we didn't have contact us we didn't have any of those kind of information um, on that website and that's actually what we found that boosted our conversion rates at the highest rate mind you this was my very first business uh, many many years ago um, and what I learned was is that depending on the different features that you have on the website it can optimize and it can change your conversion rate significantly and when I say significantly I mean it and to give you an example we went from Every 100 people visiting, we would be lucky if somebody bought. It would usually be after every 1,000 people. To out of every 100 people, we'd have five people buying. All of a sudden, we went from, you know, a... 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.5% conversion rate to a 5% conversion rate. We we're increasing the amount of sales we had by a significant amount. Uh, instead of going from one sale every two to three days, we went from three sales every day. Okay, so just be aware of the situation that, and and we grew on and on past that, and that's really what started my kind of journey in conversion optimization. Now, different themes are going to give you the presentations of these grids differently, and I'll just kind of give you guys a short example here is that we have let's let's just navigate down here to the product section okay let's select here let's scroll down we have different product views so we have product version one which is a product grid product version two which is another product grid product version three which is our carousel okay product version four which is another view and another view. Speaking of this view, this is also a a little bit more of a uh, not iconic, but it's definitely more classic and it's definitely a little bit different. So this is a view that we can view a product grid here. Let's go ahead and select a collection just to give you guys an idea. Let's select the candy collection here and let's select an image. It's not actually going to look like this. Just be aware. Um, let's select an image. Maybe this image would work and let's hit save here. And what's going to happen is this is going to be reformatted now. And this is just an example of another form of collection presentation or a product grid. Now, in this case, it's not actually a grid. It's a slider followed by an image, followed by some text, and a shop now button. Okay, so this is just another view that this theme offers. You want to go ahead and take a look at what your theme offers. And something like this could be a huge change in your business. I'll give you an example. If you're selling clothing, for example, let's take yoga pants, and you come out with a new line of yoga pants, right? Let's say uh, like some, some kind of animal type prints, and you have a zebra print, you have a cheetah print, you have a lion print, print, you have a panther, black panther print, and you have some other print, uh, uh, like a, like a snakeskin print, okay? 
what you can do is you can include an image right here and then you have the different kinds of prints here on the right. So what this does is it gives people a visual, a small visual of an example, and then they can scroll through and see what options they like in terms of the products. And there are different settings you can kind of set here. You can change the amount of products that's being shown. Notice how this is on auto rotate. So let me just go ahead and save my progress. If I don't click on that um, slider, it will rotate the products for me uh, automatically. So watch my mouse. I'm not actually clicking on anything. Notice how it's on the left here and notice how on the right this is scrolling through and it's moving by itself. Okay. And that's just an auto rotate feature. When people are viewing the website and the products rotate like that, just another feature to catch people's eyes. Sometimes the smallest animation could make the world of a difference for your Shopify store. So can a product grid or some kind of product presentation grid work um, by itself on your store? And the answer is absolutely. Okay, context is everything, of course. There are many chances where it's not going to work. There are many chances where, it's our, where it is going to work. You know, if you're doing a regular Facebook ad, for example with an incentivization uh, scarcity type ad and you're driving traffic to a product grid, that can work alone, okay? Not to mention the type of conversion rate benefits that a theme like this offers when people enter the website, when they see, for example, the stock countdown timer, the uh, social proof sales uh, twofold here, and the real-time visitor count social proof. So all of these different cognitive biases, like I said, we've We've spoken about this before, but they come together and they create Lollapalooza effect, which basically means that when you have more and more cognitive biases that just add up on top of each other, the reality becomes much more real for a customer, okay? Much more believable, much more understandable, which then creates sales or um, more sales, essentially. So that's really all I got to say for this video. If you guys have any questions on product grids, please let me know. Uh, and once again, I'll leave all the links to these themes that I'm using in the description box down below. We have the Alpha Wolf theme, which is sitting right now at $455 on sale for $295. And we have the Wolf of Shopify theme, which is sitting at $159 uh, on, sale for, uh, on sale for $125. Excuse me. And let's see how much... Um, yeah, so it's $125, and you get uh, my discount code. I'll leave my discount code in the link, uh, my affiliate link down below if you guys want to support the channel, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.